Welcome to the Idiom's Guide. Idioms! You've heard them before, but maybe you don't know what they are, or why people say them. We may never know! But one idiom so commonly used today, even though the term dates all the way back, has a somewhat scientific origin. Today's idiom, straight! from the horse's mouth. <laughs> and straight from the horse's mouth has several potential origins, but its meaning is not up for debate. The idea here being that if what is being said is straight from the horse's mouth, it must be true. Now, some say the term originated during the reign of Emperor Caligula of Rome, who was known to bed many prostitutes. Then, the term may have been known as straight from the whore's mouth, in regards to the fact that wherever you'd see Emperor Caligula, there'd be a goddamn whore around. More famously, the term straight from the horse's mouth refers to all the information you can get from a horse's mouth, such as its age, health, or whether or not it's down to fuck. Now, the reason we're able to get this information, of course, lies in their disgusting teeth. Just look at this photo of a horse's mouth. Ugh. If you count the rings inside of a horse's mouth, you can tell how old it is. Let's count them right now. One, two, three. That's a three-year-old horse. Or a pony. Read a book, huh? A smart horse trader could then look into the horse's mouth to determine whether it was a good trade or sale, rather than believe a dirty old horse salesman. But there's so much more to the horse's mouth than just being able to tell how the horse is doing. It's scientifically and historically known that the inside of a horse's mouth used to hold the secrets to one's future when you looked inside. Now let's take a look at what it must have looked like when looking into a horse's mouth in the early 1400s. Horses were so trustworthy and known for telling the truth that they were even an important part of early American courtroom settings. The horses decided the fates of over 300,000 Americans from the early 1800s all the way to 1992 when they stopped letting horses into courtrooms altogether. Now sadly, in 1900, horses decided that we no longer deserve to see our futures and also decided to stop talking to us too. That's because we were real dicks about the glue thing. And they also weren't too happy about the Arby's horse beef sandwich from the 1980s. Mm, I love horse beef. But in order to fully understand the powers of a horse's mouth, let's take a look at this detailed diagram a scientist gave me for 10 bucks. <laughs> it's here in the pre proto Christa that early gold diggers found that when broken, the tooth housed solid gold nuggets. But it's here in the esophageal cavity that once held the mysteries of the universe. Some say the reason horses were able to use this part of their disgusting mouths as time windows is because they were once angels, a banished to the new equestrian life, uh, but kept their time powers. Others think. This is bullshit. Now, it should also be noted that in the courtroom, the term, you are under oath, actually came from horses when they used to say, you are under oats. These teeth here are perfect for grinding down oats. Speaking of oats, did you know? Horses love oats. As you can see here, these teeth were perfect for grinding down oats. You are under oath. Now the reason that term came about is because horses used to be in the classroom, courtroom. As you can see, these teeth here are perfect. Speaking of horses, horses as I used said to earlier, hang out because you are under oath. <laughs> ah! Hello, I'm Gregory. Welcome to the Idiom's Guide.
We may never know why horses decided to be big jerks and not let us in on their awesome secrets. But it doesn't stop us from chopping them up or riding on them like savages. I hope you've all learned something today. The next time you see a horse, spit at it and call it a jerk for not sharing. And maybe he or she will let you take a look inside its mouth. Join us next time as we discover why ancient pagans used to throw clams at women about to give birth and exclaim, the ball's in your court! Thank you for watching the Idioms Guide. I'm Grigory! Oh, hello, Doug. Ruth, please don't get too close to me. I wouldn't want your Jew-ass fingers to turn me into a garden gnome. But Doug, I'm wearing gloves! <laughs> That's funny, like this video, which should distract you while I run away! Oh. I love a good chase. We found your tweet highly offensive! We're very disappointed in you. Wait, wait, this is about my tweet?